CNBC TV18 news break confirmed as LNT has signed a deal with BG Siddhartha to buy his entire stake in Mindtree at a price of 980 rupees per share. Mindtree promoters uh, condemn and remain unconditionally opposed to LNT's takeover bid, while LNT's AM Nayak says that this is this is not a hostile takeover and rules out any merger. Uh, between LNT's own businesses, which are listed, IT businesses, which are listed, and Mindtree. So essentially indicating that for the foreseeable future, both these businesses will remain independent. Uh, but again, I mean, in the, in the near term, short term. Uh, let's just quickly listen to Mr. A.M. Nayak, who we spoke with earlier earlier in the day. Off and on, we have been hearing for last three years uh. that now the many promoters uh. want to exit okay. and... And instead of private equity and other investor taking, company of LNT reputation mm -hmm. who knows how to run IT business because mm -hmm. we have already, and we are good to employees always, mm -hmm. which is our very very strong principle. Okay. It is good for both both the companies. Then, so I, I can't understand what is hostility in that. No, no. Somebody uh, so, or the mm -hmm. somebody or the other is going to take the company. No, sir. If I may. Uh, you know, we have got uh, statements that uh, they have made to the press, uh, uh, Mr. Krishna Kumar, uh, K.K. Natarajan, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Rostu Ravanan, that uh, they are, uh, uh, you know, uh, that they protest this uh, hostile takeover. Now, my question to you is, have you made any overtures to win them over? Because, uh, I mean, after all, people Hello. are very important in For IT. For a long time. For a long time. Okay. So, you feel confident you will be able to retain them in the company? I think that's something which uh, uh, only time will tell. But we have tried our level best to be nice and friendly and cooperative. Both the businesses will be run separately for the moment or uh, are you looking at a merger in the near future? No, not in near future. Both okay. has a separate shareholder. Both has a separate customer. Okay. Uh, Okay. It will run. Both the companies will run separately. It will be hopefully someday, someday, okay. when the promoter want to exit on their own, at that stage we will think what to do. Can you tell us what is LNT's long-term strategy as far as the IT sector is concerned? Well, we, we want to be in top six, seven companies. Mm -hmm. And we are already, I think, number eight. We will become number seven mm -hmm. or six. Okay, so that is Mr. E.M. Nayak saying that as of now, there is no merger plan. Plus, uh, they would decide what happens in terms of plans with Mindtree once the promoters uh, decide what to what they want to do with their stake. But nonetheless, that is Mindtree. The stock is down around a percent and a half. We have LNT, which is a bit sluggish as well. But the other stock in focus is Jet. That stock is down around two to three odd percent today as well. The pilot union body of the airline, National Aviators Guild, will meet later today on account of their delayed salaries. Anu Sharma is here with all the details on this story. Anu. Well, amid declining operations and inconclusive talks with Etihad and lenders, Jet Airways continues to face turbulent times. As promised, Naresh Goel did write to the employees yesterday saying that the situation is complex and requires a further short time to conclude. Goel also said that the airline has decided to curtail its operations as per the number of aircraft it is currently operating. Remember, as per the company's exchange filings, a total of 41 planes or around 34% of its fleet is grounded due to non-payment of lease rentals. However, if you look at the aircraft tracking websites which would also include the inactive planes on account of maintenance the company is currently operating only 45 percent of its total fleet of 119 aircraft so the larger picture remains that the much needed interim funding support of 750 crore rupees is yet to come from etihad and as of right now there has been no agreement among the stakeholders with regard to the resolution plan for jet airways today the airline's pilot union body the national aviators guild will hold its uh, agm in book uh, Mumbai at 3 o'clock. This will, this will be the first meeting of pilots after their letter to the government on delayed salaries. And we will continue to track that space for more. Back to you. Okay, uh, Anu, thank you very much uh, for that. We'll, of course, uh, keep going back to Anu for more on this uh, particular topic and subject. Uh, let's come to autos now. Hero Motor Corp and Aisha are under pressure. Reports suggest that two-wheeler makers are set to cut production by up to 15% from March to May. Two-wheeler inventory levels are as high as between 80 and 90 days versus the normal inventory of between 20 and 30 days. 
Uh, how bad is the situation? Remember, we got you information yesterday that Maruti, uh, and this is this was news reports that Maruti is cutting about a quarter of its production because of uh, the demand situation not being uh, exactly rosy. Ashwin Patil of LKP Securities is joining in to take some questions. Ashwin, thanks very much. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. How bad uh, is the situation? What would you say? See, we have encountered such situations in the past as well when the uh, demand is not really looking up very good. So a similar situation is uh, currently uh, happening in the auto market where we know that uh, over the past four to five months, the, the companies have been reporting very sluggish sales growth. So uh, in line with that, the production cut is getting aligned uh, in line with the demand that is happening. We know that on the two-wheeler side, the CBS, ABS, uh, uh, the safety norms implementation is going to happen from April 2009. And hence, the companies are citing that uh, the demand will be, you know, further down post-April because of the cost increase, the cost price increase, which uh, would be happening on the two-wheelers. So, in line with that also, and in line with the market environment, the two-wheeler companies have followed suit uh, uh, for Maruti, from Maruti. And, uh, you know, uh, therefore, we are seeing this 10 to 15 percent production cut, uh, which are happening on the likes of Hero Motor Corp, Royal Enfield and HMSI, following the likes of Maruti uh, and earlier Tata Motors and MNM had done that. They had taken a 10 10 percent cut, and Maruti has taken a 20 percent cut. Hmm. Ashwin, uh, so yes, uh, the new emission norms as well as the anti brake system norms will start getting applicable April 2019 onwards, uh, which is next month. So, how much do you anticipate demand to go down by further or incrementally from where it is currently? Uh, just to correct you, the new emission norms will be coming from uh, April 2020, but the ABS and the uh, ABS CBS, that the safety norms for two wheelers, will be coming from April April 2019. Sure. So uh, we are seeing, uh, uh, you know, a demand uh, deceleration, uh, maybe about five to ten percent uh, for the two wheelers uh, going forward from the month of April, and uh, then there are certain drivers like if the monsoon are good this year and the production, you know, uh, that may result in production getting back to normal. But uh, currently, uh, for the next two to three months, we are seeing this kind of, uh, you know, the production cut uh, from March to May and that would be resulting in some sort of demand deceleration because uh, the inventory levels are really very high and alarming and they, unless and until there is a correction from the dealer side in the, in the inventory levels, uh, we won't be seeing the production cuts getting back to normal. Okay, so can you quantify it for us just give us a sense in terms of say what exactly the demand would be right now in percentage terms and how much do you probably anticipate it to reduce in April and maybe even in the month of May and when do you expect it to normalize uh, see for the uh, passenger vehicles I would say uh, for the month of March uh, companies like Maruti and Mahindra and Mahindra and Tata Motors will be coming up uh, I guess uh, I mean that would be my estimate that uh, about uh, 2 to 5 percent uh, degrowth uh, would be seen on uh, passenger vehicles uh, and uh, on the on the uh, two wheelers I would say about 8 to 10 percent decline will be uh, quite possible uh, for the month of April and uh, for the month of March and continuation of that would be happening a slightly more degrowth will be happening in the months of April and May, I guess so. Okay, Ashman, thanks very much. Appreciate you joining in. Uh, some uh, quick perspective coming in on an important uh, subject that we are tracking uh, from all angles. We take a very quick break here. We come back, uh, more focus on the market and stories in just a bit. Stay with us.